front page settings allow you to create a full site name and also a short name which is used in the navigation bar. You can add a front page description and this can be displayed on the front page in a specific block. Further down the page you have control over how the front page of your Moodle site looks both to visitors and when people are logged in and you can choose different options here such as categories or courses. If you have many categories and subcategories then the control for showing the category depth could be important. Also important is the topic section which will allow you to add HTML directly into the front page of your site. You can also control the number of news items, how many comments may be displayed, courses per page and the default front page role. Usually this should be left as none, although in certain circumstances, depending on how you want your site to operate, you may be choosing authenticated user or even student here. Front page roles allows you to assign a user to a role on the front page, such as a teacher or a student. Generally this is unnecessary, as most Moodle sites are set up as courses. The filter settings can be different for the front page in Moodle, so for example if you have some flash animation you might need the multimedia plugin enabled. Although courses can be backed up in Moodle, automatically or manually, only the administrator can back up the front page. It is important to back this page up regularly. If the front page needs to be restored, for example after having made some changes that haven't worked out too well, then you can restore it here. Finally, the question bank gives control over any questions used on the front page, for example in a quiz. This has to be separate because they are not actually within a course.